For this demonstration, we're using inch and one-eighth plasma rope, which has a three and a half inch circumference. We'll build an eye splice around a thimble. First, determine the fit length. The fit length is seven times the circumference. Seven times three and a half is twenty-four and a half inches. Then, lay out three fit lengths. Measure the first twenty-four and a half inches and make a mark. That's your first fit length. Measure the second fit, another twenty-four and a half inches, and make the second mark. Then measure the third fit, another twenty-four and a half inches, and mark it as well. Take the tail of the rope and pass it through one side of the thimble so that the third fit mark is well out. Then pull the rope through the other side of the thimble so the third mark comes out of the bottom. Now, taper the first fit, that is the tail of the rope. Start by marking two adjacent strands, one going to the left and one going to the right. Then skip one set of strands and mark the next pair. Then skip another set and mark the next pair. Skip another pair, mark the next, and so on. After marking six sets, skip two sets of strands and mark the seventh pair. Then continue as you did earlier. Skip a single pair and mark the next. Skip a pair, mark the next. And so on to the end of the tail. Now it's time to remove the strands so that the rope will be tapered gradually. We're going to remove one strand from each pair that we marked, alternating left and right strands. Start with the first pair you marked and pull out one of the two strands. We're pulling the left strand, but it doesn't matter which one you pull. Then go to the next marked pair and pull the opposite strand, in this case the right strand, all the way out. Then move to the next pair and pull the one going to the left. Then to the next pair and pull the one going to the right. Then on to the next pair, the one going to the left, then to the right, to the left, to the right, all the way to the end. Take the last two strands and tape them together with standard electrician's tape. Now take each one of the six strands you pulled out and cut them off with a sharp serrated kitchen knife. And don't be surprised when the knife seems duller after cutting just a few strands of plasma rope. After all, it's the same material used to make cut-resistant gloves and bulletproof vests. When all six strands have been cut off, you'll end up with a smooth, tapered tail. Now attach a fit to the tail of the rope. The fit is simply a tool for inserting the rope into the core. We're using a fit made of a piece of aluminum tubing. You can use a wire fit made from a coat hanger, a piece of broom handle, or whatever is handy. Tape the fit to the end of the tail with electrician's tape and tape it securely. Now, wrap tape around the loose strands a couple of inches up the rope, and you'll see why in a moment. At this point, your rope will look something like this. Locate a point near the bottom of the thimble and make a pilot hole with your finger. Go right through the center of the rope, making sure you have three pairs of strands on each side of the hole. Insert the fit into the pilot hole and pull the tail through the body of the rope.
Pull it all the way so that the fid mark comes out on the other side of the body, like this. Now count four picks down from the bottom of the first pass-through hole. One, two, three, four. And make another pilot hole starting on one side. Count down four on the other side of the rope and complete the pilot hole. Check to make sure you have three sets of strands on each side. Pass the fid through the pilot hole and pull the rope all the way through so it's fairly snug. Now count four picks down from the bottom of this hole. One, two, three, four. And bury the fid straight down into the center of the rope. Work the fid down into the body of the rope by milking the rope. Push the fid down, milk the rope back up. Push the fid down, milk the rope up, and so on until there is about a six inch loop remaining. If the cutoff strands of rope start to bunch up, as they are here, wrap another piece of electrician's tape around the strands. Notice the six inch loop remaining here, just below the two stitches. At this point, push the fid out the side of the rope and pull it all the way out. Then work the rope back down toward the eye. Finally, pull on the tail of the rope so that the loop sucks all the way into the body. Pull tight. Detach the fid from the rope, then carefully remove all the tape. When all the tape has been cleaned off the tail, Attach the thimble to something secure. In this case, we used a rope attached to a post. Then milk the rope all the way down. The tail of the splice will gradually disappear into the body of the rope. Finally, use a piece of small diameter cord wrapped tight around the rope and pull it all the way down. This technique allows you to put considerable squeezing force on the rope without burning your hands. Notice how the rope is smoothing out as it passes through the tightened cord. Since the buried eye splice is prone to failure through loosening, it's often a good idea to cross sew the splice. Cross sewing does not strengthen the splice, rather it keeps the splice from working apart during normal handling. If the splice is used in a static environment where it's not handled much, cross sewing offers little if any value. Use a nylon braided cord that is about one half to one third the diameter of the rope strands. Never use spectra, plasma, or Kevlar rope as your sewing thread. Nylon cord has elongation and will give as the splice works. At this point, our cross-sewn buried eye splice is done. Remember to use this splice with caution, as there's always the possibility of slippage. And remember to inspect the splice from time to time.